Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do a video response to Ken from Mid Level Media. He had tagged me to do my top 10 horror movie subgenres, and so today I wanted to take time to do that. So stay tuned. So I have been trying for the past couple of days to get on camera to do this video. I do apologize for the delay. I have been a little bit under the weather with allergies. Um, I just came in from mowing the yard, so I am a little bit of an, in a mess. So I do apologize for my appearance, but I did want to take time today to do the response to Ken. Um, so I really do appreciate Ken for tagging me in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first horror subgenre is torture. And for torture, I selected The Collector. I did just recently watch this for the first time. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the story. Um, and also, I definitely enjoyed the um, the character of The Collector. Um, really creepy looking, as you can tell from this image here. Um, the torture devices, the booby traps that he had set up. Um, just excellent torture. If you think about torture, this movie has torture in it. So the next one I chose, um, so the next subgenre would be found footage, and I selected As Above, So Below. Um, I saw this one last year for the first time. I really enjoyed it. A very interesting story. Really nice looking slipcover, as you can tell. But um, this group of people are, um, the found footage is of a group of people that were in a cave type place, underground, some tombs or something to that effect. I can't remember exactly what, but most of the movie was in that setting. And if you like dark places and are claustrophobic, crawling around in the dark and the wet um, caves or caverns, um, this right here was a pretty creepy movie. You know, like I said, it was mostly dark. So anytime that there was some light shine, shining through, there were these creature things that you could see, which was pretty creepy. So. Um, my found footage would be this movie. So number three is foreign horror, um, and I selected The Untold Story. Um, I watched this one recently last year, and it's a great story about this guy here who was really brutal. Um, he is, I think he was a cannibal. He was, I, I don't want to avoid too much in the movie, but anyway, he killed people and used their flesh for, for things. And um, so this right here is a great um, foreign horror movie. So definitely recommend this one. Um, it's not for everyone. It is pretty graphic. So just be warned. Number four is the sci-fi subgenre. And I selected Upgrade. I watched this one for the first time last year also. And this was, a, this was an amazing movie. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what took me so long. I've had this in my collection for many, many years and finally opened it up last year and watched it. Um, very good story, I really enjoyed it. It is, it's mostly sci-fi, not really horror, but there are some horror elements in it, so that's why I selected this one. But definitely recommend you checking that one out. So for number five, it's the vampire subgenre. I selected The Lost Boys. I've always been a fan of this movie. I saw this one when it was released in the theaters way back when and really enjoyed it. This was probably probably the first really good vampire movie that I remember seeing, mostly because of the cast and that it was focused on young people and not just the old Count Dracula and different vampires that we were used to at that time. Okay, number six is Werewolves. And um, I selected An American Werewolf in London. Anytime I think about a werewolf, this right here is the movie that I go to. I've never actually sat down and watched the whole film until last month. I watched the whole thing from start to finish instead of just bits and pieces. So I actually got to understand the story and what was going on. And I really loved this movie. It was, it was really great. Anytime I think about a werewolf movie, this is the movie that I go to, especially for the transformation from the man to the werewolf. Um, you know, who would have thought that turning into a werewolf would be so painful? But if you watch this movie, you can, tef you can definitely tell how painful that would be. Okay, number seven is the zombie subgenre. And I was thinking about some different zombie movies, but I always came back to this one. Now, I watched this one for the first time last year and really enjoyed it. This right here could also be considered a foreign movie because it is, 
but this right here was a great movie. When you think about zombies, you know, you think about The Walking Dead, you think about some of the older zombie movies and how slow moving they are. And you know, you think, oh, I can run away from a zombie. But this right here had a different kind of zombie. These, these zombies in this movie were more like the zombies that you would have seen in World War Z. They were fast moving, um, they were quick, and if you didn't watch yourself, you were going to be, um, you know, eaten up and caught by these zombies. So that would be my zombie movie. Okay, number eight is Slasher. Of course, we have all kinds of good slasher movies. You think about Friday the 13th, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, all of those great classic slasher movies. But recently, I watched a new slasher movie called Haunt. And I really enjoy this movie. If you have not seen this movie, I would definitely recommend you checking this one out. Um, this right here is based in a, of a group of people that went to a haunted, a haunted attraction. And I am really drawn to haunted attractions. I, um, I grew up every year going to haunted houses for Halloween. Um, the local JCs in our area always had the best haunted houses. And I actually got to work in a haunted house for about three years. Um, several years ago, I got to work in a haunted house and really enjoyed it and got to see the ins and outs of it. So I can definitely tell how creepy a haunted house would be as far as a slasher movie is concerned. Okay, number nine, Paranormal Ghost. is probably one of my favorite subgenres of the horror movies. You think about Paranormal Activity, you think about Poltergeist, all these great movies, The Others. Um, but I wanted to select something a little bit different, something that I just saw for the first time recently, and it is Marrowbone. If you have not seen this movie, I cannot recommend this one enough. It was great. It was creepy. It had some good um, settings in it, a good storyline, a great surprise in the movie. Um, I would highly recommend this paranormal movie. Okay, number 10 is Home Invasion Movie. For the Home Invasion Movie, um, you can think of all kinds of great movies, but I selected The Strangers. Now, I saw this one in the theater when it was released. Another great movie that I really enjoyed. I always enjoy the way that this character looks. You know, if you enter your door at night and this person's at the door, or even some of these other people that were at the door with their mask, um, you would definitely be terrified, or at least I would be. So I think The Strangers was a great home invasion story. So ho hopefully you liked all the selections that I um, selected. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my choices. And also let me know if you've seen any of these movies and if you would like to recommend any of these other types of movies. Um, I really do enjoy your comments and I definitely enjoy your recommendations. So instead of me tagging other people to do this, um, what I thought I would do is just let it be opened up for anybody that wants to do this kind of a video where you select the 10 um, subgenres of horror films. I'm gonna have the list down below so that you can turn around and just do your own video. And if you do decide to do a video, please send me a message on Instagram. I've got the link below, or even put it in the comments below that you did a video and share the video on in the description, uh, in the um, comments below. And I would really love to see what you selected. I really do enjoy watching all those videos. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.